Hey YouTube, it's Mr. North 14 and today I'm doing a review on the Guardian app and also the Smart Assistant Kelby. Okay, so this is a hydroponic garden for the home and it has an app feature and a smart AI feature to take some of the uh, work out of hydroponicking and how to grow you know, plants indoors. So we're going to take a look at this app. It's called the Guardian app and it's loading right now. We're going to give it a little second here, get a little focus there, and there you go. So when you open the app, this is what you're going to see, okay? First thing I learned in with this app is that you can't touch everything. I know with most apps, you want to touch things and really see what's going on, but if you touch things here, you might turn things on and off like the water and the light. And you may overwater your plants or underwater your plants. So when you first open this app, there's only two things you should be touching. And that is the plant book and the live view. Okay. If you touch anything else, start from the left top where the three lines are and go into things from here. So if you want to look at the lights, go in from here. If you want to look at the water, go in from here. Okay. So let's go back. Go back to the um, first page so we can take a look and see how everything is. So you got the garden at the top and then you have a little thing on the right called Kelby. That's the smart AI assistant. Now you're going to see like a little red dot there if she leaves you any messages or she'll leave it in your email at the same time. But if you see any red dot by that Kelby sign, that means you need to read that immediately because that means the smart AI is trying to tell you something. Okay, and we'll look at that in just a second. So let's check out this uh, the home screen. And as you can see, you have the plant book here. What is the plant book? Plant book is basically what it sounds like. It's going to show you everything that gardening sells, every plant it sells. And it's basically going to give you a heads up on the origins of that plant, how to use it, the qualities and everything about it. So let's look at butterhead squash. That's just a type of salad greens there. It tells you the origins where it originated in Egypt. It tells you the qualities of it. It's good for cardiovascular health, bone strength, use. You basically use it as a base with green salads. And then it tells you the care and harvest. It tells you how many days it takes to sprout, mature, and how long you can eat it for. So that is awesome. As you can see, that's what the plant book is for. So let's go out the plant book. And let's look at Live View. What is Live View? Live View is probably one of the best features of the Gardein system and what separates it from any other home hydroponic system on the market. So let's click on that and what will we see? Okay, basically every 30 minutes that camera takes a picture of your Gardein system and it's looking at the plants health okay it's looking and seeing if they're you know how they look do the the leaves have spots on them are the leaves green enough and things like that to let you know if it looks healthy or not and then it's going to send you an alert through Kelby to the type right up there and tell you what's going on so that's just a look as you can see at the pictures and it's going to do that like I said about every 30 minutes Okay, now the light and the water down at the bottom there, you don't want to touch. If you touch that, then you're going to turn, if your lights are on, you're going to turn them off. If your water is running, you're going to turn it off. Or if it's not running, you're going to turn it on. So that means you might overwater your plants and your plants might not get the sunlight they need. So do not touch those bottom two uh, uh, graphs there if you're gonna if you want to look at the lights and you want to look at the water go up to the top left go into the menu bar and hit lights and what happens when you go into lights it tells you today you're gonna get light for 20 hours and you get dark for four hours okay if you go over to the schedule at the top what does that say what does that do it's gonna go in there and it's gonna show you your light schedule from Monday through Sunday Okay, and it what it's going to do is say from 12 to 6, you're going to get light from 6 to 8.30. You're going to get light from 8.30 to 5 p.m. You're going to get light from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You're going to get light. But after that, from 8 to midnight, you're going to get dark. Okay, 
but let's go down to the bottom here. You see this says copy Saturday schedule. Well, let's say if, but don't push that. Let's say if you weren't using the Kelby system, your membership is over and you said, okay, I know how to do this. So basically what you would do, let's say it's Monday today. Well, you could go down here, you can hit copy Monday schedule and you would set your own light schedule up and you could just copy and paste it to the following day. So make it simpler on you so you don't, wouldn't have to go back in and put everything in there. Now, if you look below the copy schedule, you'll see that it says plenty of light. Love it. That's the Kelby Smart Assistant telling you, hey, I've been monitoring your system. Your system is getting enough light. Great. Your plants are doing good. Okay, but remember I told you if you wanted to add, you could copy the schedule or you can add. So let's say here you know that your plant's getting light up until 8 o'clock. Let's say you wanted to add two more hours to that, that you wanted to give it light from 8 to 10. Okay, you would hit the plus here at the bottom. Then you would put in 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and hit save. Okay, and then you would add another date uh, another time here to your schedule or where your plants will get light okay so let's go back here to the menu again okay let's go back up to the top three lines to the menu we're going to go into water as you can see here uh, it tells you that the water schedule is on okay it tells you now the water is off it won't be back, you know, it won't be on until 4 p.m. and 4 4.09 p.m. Now, I'm looking down at the bottom. You can barely see it. But if you go up to schedule, it'll actually show you the times during that day that the plant is getting water. So from 12 to 12.05, it gets water. From 8 a.m. to 8.05, it got water today. Just recently, and then again, it's going to, at 4 p.m. to 4:05. It's going to get water. So that's the schedule that the Kelby system has set up. Okay. Now, if you hit the uh, copy Saturday schedule, remember what I said about that. It's saying that it's getting plenty of water via the Kelby system because it got a smiley face. And if you wanted to add a fourth time a day, if you wanted to get water from 7 uh, uh, p.m. to 7 p.m. You would simply just hit that plus down at the bottom right. Okay, so let's get out of there. Let's go to the home page again. Remember, the plant book and the live view are the only two things you want to be touching. You do not want to touch the light down at the bottom and you don't want to touch the water. Now, I'm hope hopefully they'll do an update to the app. Well, just in case if you touch the water or the light, it'll say, do you want to turn the water on? Yes or no. Do you want to turn the light on? Yes or no. That'll keep you from overwatering and underlighting or overlighting and overwatering your plant. So hopefully they'll do something about that so that it's not that finicky and easy to touch. So we're going back up to the menu bar at the top left and we're going to go into live view. Okay, remember live view every 30 minutes is going to take a picture of your garden. And Kelby is going to be able to look at that and see if everything okay. So I did a little test when I was putting my system together. I left the tape. Now, I left some blue tape in each of the 30 holes where, where there's plants. Okay, I left the tape and it's just to hold that cup in there. Okay, why it's being, why it's traveling to you. It's like a blue piece of tape and I left it in there. Because I wanted to know, hey, you taking a picture every 30 minutes, is the AI system smart enough to notice that I left that tape in and that might be an issue? Well, I want to show you something. Remember I told you we we're going to talk about Kelby, the smart AI system that comes with the app. So if you see it, it's Kelby, she's at the top right. If you click on that little circle, it will take you into messages or notifications that that uh, Kelby has sent you. Now, the first message she sent me, she said, it's down at the bottom in red. It says, I'm Kelby, your smart assistant. You can reach out to me at support, blah, blah, blah. It says, important, no plant food until the 10th day. Plant food can hamper germination. Okay, so that was nice to know. Then she sent me on the 25th 
a note. She said, to avoid any drippings, completely remove blue tape. Okay, she sent that to me November 25th. So I was like, wow, okay, this camera system is really important. It's really working. It's going to let me know if my plants need more water or if my plants got spots on them or something like that. It'll tell me if it's a bug infestation or something like that. So I was like, wow, this system, this this camera system and the Kelby system really works because when I tested it to see if it recognized that blue tape, not only did it recognize it, but it told me what the blue tape would do. See, that's above it. It didn't just say, hey, you forgot to remove the blue tape. It said, hey, the blue tape might cause dripping, so exit water might run out. Instead of getting to them plants, you might have water just running all down your system. So that was pretty pretty clever. I thought that was, a, um, it showed the importance of the Kelby uh, AI system. Now, it sent me another one on November 22nd. It said, let me introduce myself a little more. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual on your gar garden when you start adding plant food. Not yet. When it's time to start harvesting, tips on using your garden and other ideas and inspirations along the way. So, what did that tell me? That tell me that that camera system, which is the one thing that makes this thing very inventive and better than any other home gardening system out there is these cameras and the ability of the AI system to actually look at your plants and tell you what's wrong to give you advice or to tell you what to do and what not to do so that if you are a first time gardener into hydroponics this is a great system just for the knowledge and the ability of the cameras to recognize things I wouldn't say if you are a beginner, this is the best system to start out with because I believe there's cheaper investments just to see if you like like it than to go out and spend $799, okay, to see if you like hydroponics. It's, it's a better way, okay, and I'll talk about what I believe my best, uh, uh, the best way to enter hydroponics is. Okay, I'll do a video on that. But for now, I'm just going to let you know that if you are into hydroponics and you're serious like me, I've bought several hydroponic systems. I would definitely say that this one is the best because of the camera system and the Kelby Smart AI. Now, I don't know if it's worth $30 yet, <laughs> but as I go on, I'll do some tests and do some things and try to see if the system you know, try to trick the system and see if it tells me things and stuff like that. But we'll see. Another thing I wanted to go over in the app is that you can also do orders. So if you're running out of things and let's say if you have the membership, this is basically where you would go in and order the 10 Y cubes you get with your $30 membership. OK, but if you didn't, this is also where you would go in if you wanted to to order things. Now, they're a little bit more expensive. If you don't have the membership, you'll have to pay $9.99 for shipping and handling. And each of the things cost like about $4.99 a piece. So it can really get expensive. But like I said, you can really, you don't really have to buy from Shelby. You can just do your own stuff and have your own seeds and your own, yeah, and do that. So it's not really necessary if you're if you're a seasoned hydroponics. But like I said, I'm really starting to, I'm, I'm a season, I've been doing it for 10 years, but I even see the benefit of Kelby, you know, just in the points of it looking at the plants, you know, and being able to tell you things like that. And if you have the money and things like that to do the membership, I would suggest go ahead, try it out, do it for a couple months, see if you like it, get the two year, see if you like it for two years, you know. But it's very interesting. Like I said, I will let you know. I will do keep you up on a week to week progress or maybe every two weeks, maybe to see how I'm doing. Like I said, I am a seasoned hydroponics rower. I really like this system. So we're going to go in and if you see a repair here, basically what this is, is if your gardening system is acting up, you can reset it and it'll give you instructions on what to do. Okay, let's go back in the menu again, and we're just going to quickly go over things. Settings. This, when you get your app loaded, you need to go into settings. 
okay? And make sure that your time zone is set to your time zone. Because for like two days, I was in somebody else's time zone. And usually with apps, they're supposed to automatically do that, but this one didn't. So please go into your settings and put it to your time zone so that when you're telling it the water and things like that, that it's doing it on your time. Okay? You can share this with friends. Basically, you can put stuff on Facebook and everything and tell people, you know, hey, I'm enjoying this system. This is something you might enjoy. And then that's how you contact support. And that is pretty much my review on the app. Sorry it went a little long. But like I said, it's a simple little app, you know. But I wanted to explain the things that I felt were important and the things I liked as well as things you shouldn't do with the app. Okay, this is Mr. North 14. Peace out. Hope you enjoy it.